This video will cover the topic, Applying the Quadratic Formula, Exact Answers. In this video, we will learn how to use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation, and we will leave our answers in exact form, so we won't convert anything into decimals. I have a question. What exactly is the quadratic formula, then? The quadratic formula is a useful formula that allows us to substitute in coefficients of a quadratic written in standard form to solve the equation for x. We won't have to factor anything or complete the square. We will substitute everything into the formula. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. When we have a quadratic equation written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, we can use these coefficients a, b, and c in the formula to solve for x. For example, we have the equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals 0. In this equation, what is a, b, and c? It looks like a is 2, b is negative 5, and c is negative 4. Exactly. Let's substitute them into the equation now. We now have x equals negative negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 4, all divided by 2 times 2. Okay, so we have everything in the equation now. What is the best way to simplify this? To simplify this, I would say to simplify the first term, then simplify everything together inside the square root, and then simplify the denominator. Then we will see if we can simplify it any further. Negative negative 5 simplifies to positive 5, and then we have 25 plus 32 inside the radical, which becomes 57, and then we have 4 on the bottom. So x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 57 all over 4. We can split apart the positive and negative, or plus and minus, to show our two answers, which are 5 plus the square root of 57 over 4, and 5 minus the square root of 57 over 4. These are exact answers, so we will leave them as they are. The quadratic formula is very useful. If I have a quadratic equation written in standard form, I can substitute the coefficients of each term of the quadratic polynomial into the formula to solve for x. Great understanding.